heard that you are looking for your pet turtle. Yes. Yes, we have him in our backyard. Thank you, Lord. I oh. All right, you guys, it's one thing after another. I was just about to go to work, and Mike looks out the window and goes, look at this, and he comes running out, and there is a humongous turtle in our backyard. And like, yeah, like a turtle, whatever, that's fine, but this does not look like an ordinary, like, turtle that would just be roaming your neighborhood. It looks like a pet. Pig's freaking out. I don't know what to do. We literally don't know what to do. He looks like a turtle that would be in a pet store. I mean, like, this is just not a turtle that would be roaming around your neighborhood in the creek in our backyard. Pig, you need to calm down. I don't know what even to say. Like, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know how much more crazy stuff is gonna happen to us. <laughs> I mean, it's been a crazy past couple weeks and then this happens. I was literally just about to leave for work and there was like a freaking turtle. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. Good, look at him, he's massive. So we called the, the leader of our HOA and um, she made a post about it and we found who the owner is. I mean, he couldn't, it's gotta be somebody in our neighborhood. He couldn't have gotten far, but he, I mean, he's a really beautiful animal. I love animals, we both love animals. Gene and I both love animals and uh, you know, they're very, especially turtles, they're really cool. And you can't even make this up. Walk out, there's a tortoise in the yard. I heard that you are looking for your pet turtle? Yes. Yes, we have him in our backyard. Thank you, Lord. I oh. Well, I walked out this morning and I saw this object at the fence and I said, well, I think I know what that is, but that can't possibly be true because that doesn't live around here, and uh... No, it, it's actually native to Africa. I was gonna say, it looks like an African spurred tortoise, based on what I looked it's up. It's an African, it's a Socata tortoise, yeah, African Socata horn, horn tortoise. <laughs> Beautiful. I've had this thing since it was about the size of a, probably a, a saucer for like a tea, it's a cup of tea, saucer type size. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One or two times we've seen her out on the driveway, and I thought I blocked the, the exit off. Unfortunately, the land, the, the landscaper people, the, the grass cutting people, propped the, the, the gate open, and I know exactly what happened. She saw the, the gate open. Oh my God! The gate down the drive. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking she won't go over a curb because she'll come to the edge of the curb and realize it's a drop off, and she's smart enough not to do that. So she walked down the probably walked down the driveway. Walked across the street, miraculously not getting hit. She she came from the woods behind our house. Okay, because I spent an hour and plus in the woods yesterday. Her, the wife must have seen this thing up by their garage <laughs> on the 1st of July. And I'm thinking, well, there's a big heavy brush that she would have had to get around to get over there, but now I'll take a chance. And I, I, printed, a, I, was, I printed up a flyer. Aww. I was going to distribute it tonight. And, sh and I was like, well, maybe somebody, somebody will see her because, again, she's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> Literally at my office uh, now. I'm going to finish up and I will be over there in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, that is perfect. I gave it some lettuce. Is that okay? That's fine. That's okay. fine. The only thing is she, she doesn't, um, there's one thing that they don't like. Lettuce is fine. Spinach. Can't okay. Spinach. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I will be there shortly. Thank All you. All right, we'll see you soon. Thank you. No problem. Right, see ya. Bye, bye. bye. Oh my God. Can you guys believe this? Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. So I called him and he's been looking for her for days. This is just the craziest story. I cannot believe it. But as soon as I saw her, I was like, that is definitely a pet. So I'm really glad that we found the owner. I thought that this was gonna be like an all night affair where we had to take her to a pet store and ask them questions and like our vet and everything. I was just gonna so. build him a little house and put him over there in the landscaping. Oh my God, she has just been going Jeez. all over our neighborhood. I mean, 
<laughs> that is just so funny. She saw the gate open and she's like, this is my opportunity to explore. And she's been all over the neighborhood over. making little trails in the grass. <laughs> I think this is so hilarious. She's a little mind of her own. So she's eating some lettuce right now. Lettuce. Savannah really doesn't care at all. She just has like, she doesn't care at all. But Piglet is like all over her. But she's Savannah, pretty cute. Savannah. Now Savannah's a little curious. What is that, Savannah? What is that, Fenty? Well, I'm really happy that we did find the owner and that was like so easy. We found it within yeah, that's, five I minutes. I can't believe we found it that easily. So I'm really happy about that, but it would have been pretty cool to have this as a little Yeah, I was pet. excited. I was gonna have him as a pet. That it's is not so like that's cool. I mean, what kind of, who does this happen to? I don't even get it. It's craziness. So she's a cutie. She's having some lettuce, exploring the backyard and it's just a wild story. Loving her lettuce, she really loves it. She must be hungry, she probably hasn't eaten in days. I didn't even think about that. She's been missing since July 1st and it's the seventh now, I think. Poor baby. I honestly didn't even think about that. I mean, she probably wouldn't eat grass willingly. No. Oh my God, I can't even believe she's still alive, honestly. I don't know how that works, I don't know how long. Turtles can go without food, but. Wow, she is chowing down. I feel like this was such a shocking, crazy, unreal thing to happen that the video was so like, bah, 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 like everywhere, this, there, that, like it's just been a crazy past 15 minutes because at first we saw it, we were in shock and I was like, that's a pet. There's no way that that lives in like the wild here. So I called my friend that works at a zoo around here and she was helping us and she recommended to post it on Facebook and see if anybody would reach out. Turns out somebody in our neighborhood already did do that and the owner has been looking for this poor little girl for days and um, it was so relieving to be able to call him and for him to be like, yes, I've been looking for her. I'm just very, very happy that we found the owner. I'm very happy that it was a very easy process. But um, I mean, this is just wild. This is not something that you can make up. She just pooped a lot. Oh my God. Wow, she just pooped a lot. I'm not gonna show you guys cause that's nasty, but oh my God, she's still doing it. <laughs> It's just spewing out, sorry, TMI. I don't know oh what their poop's God. supposed to look like, but that's not, it's like white. Is that turtle poop? Well, it's spewing out of her back end, so I'm assuming that's poop. All right, we're gonna feed her some more lettuce now. Look at that. Her owner just got here. I'm pretty sad. It's gonna be a sad goodbye. I've only known you for like 20 minutes, but it's still gonna be sad. Pig's looking for it right now. She's, just look at her, she's freaking out. She's like, where is the tortoise? Where's it at? Where's the pig? Where's it? Where's it? We get a pig. Where's the pig? Get a pig. She's looking for it. Anyway, um, that was really interesting. You never know what you're gonna find here. And uh, we met the guy who owns the tortoise, very nice uh, gentleman. He's actually a doctor and he loves his tortoise. and. Uh, they leave it out in the yard and I guess the landscapers left the gate open and um, Tortoise got out and it, you know, it, you wouldn't think a turtle's quick But I mean it really only takes like if you know a couple minutes and she could easily get across this yard You know in a couple minutes. I'm gonna have to wash that poop out piglet get away from the poop. But yeah, that was wild That was wild. So this is it and you got a little I, I think you guys have seen the backyard before but that's where the blazer sits back there so we own obviously in the fence and then over there and then back in those trees and cuts right there where that other fence is. So it's not, we, we actually don't have a very big yard. It's only like, um, it's like a little over quarter, uh, three quarter, uh, one third of an acre. 
but that's it for the turtle i was kind of looking forward to it i was going to build him a little i was going to build him a little like area in there like a little hut with straw and it would have been kind of neat to have a big tortoise but we can always get one if we want one i don't really want one but thank you guys for watching no we're not getting a tortoise uh thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed take care and have a great night